When I was in California last week, one of my assignments was to interview actor Michael Keaton. Now, I talked with him before, so I thought I knew what to expect. I figured we'd talk about his new movie, whether he was going to do Batman 3, you know, the usual movie star stuff. But from the moment I arrived at his L.A. home, this interview took on a life of its own. Would you like a Danish? No, it isn't a lovely dessert. What a spread tray. you brought out for us. You know, <laughs> at Michael Keaton's house, there's not much to eat, but there is a lot to talk about. He's 42 now, a divorced dad, and someone who refuses to buy into the Hollywood scene. Truthfully, show business is, is just a big version of high school. That's what it is. I mean, clicks and importance and who's hot. And popularity I said contest. This, it's a total popularity contest. And, and people are so unbelievably transparent about it that it still shocks me. It's kind of pathetic, huh? It's really pathetic and kind of sickening. And that's why they probably don't want to hang out with me. <laughs> Such modesty coming from Batman himself. In 1989, Keaton was the star of one of the highest-grossing pictures of all time. Hold on. Two years later, Batman returned. Any kid knows that Batman is actually millionaire Bruce Wayne, but few know that Michael Keaton is actually a regular guy from Pittsburgh whose real name is Michael Douglas. I really loved my name, and I wanted to keep my name, and I had to change it. It was very upsetting to me. So I got this job. Uh, and I got in the union and they said, you have to, uh, this is so dull. I'll finish it, but it's really dull. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, really. You had to uh, have another name, so I came up with another name. And how'd you, how'd you come up with Keaton? Sorry, <laughs> I know, I, I just can't let this matter drop. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, it's important, I think. <laughs> well, because um, I, I had to have a name. I had to have a name legally to take the job. And I said, okay, uh, so I'm going through phone books, I'm reading a newspaper. Oh, well. <laughs> Excuse me, what if you just saw me? Oh, what the hell? What's just... Get out of my face. These okay. are all our, our questions. Just having a small breakdown. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I'll somehow manage to get through without them. <laughs> okay, sorry. These are our questions. What's Did you just have here? your pool clean by any chance? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Oh, you want to keep that one. That's an important one. <laughs> okay, thank That's you. That's one of those good ones, like, why'd you change your name? <laughs> Okay, well, if your first job was playing a flying zucchini brother on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, you might have changed your name, too. I didn't realize you had done so much television work. Yeah. So much bad television work. No offense. didn't do that many bad well, television shows. Well, not bad, but, but you did, it wasn't See, you weren't most real successful said, in television. See, most people would have said to you, oh, it was awful. No, bull****. Also, I don't want to hear anything about all these movies that didn't do, do well. I'm a, almost all my movies made money. What? What did I just say? Anything no, about we're going to get to that. <laughs> okay. Get ready, babe, because you're getting called on everything today. Name the television show I was in that was really not good. Well, I'm not saying you it wasn't good, just not so. successful. Uh, well, wasn't oh, there success? a Mary Tyler Moore? That you did was a not couple. Good. <laughs> there you go. Come join us. Come and waste an hour or two. Do do with your What's the matter, man? Come on. You're rich, you got mega bucks. Holy bat flop, Cape Crusader. But then again, David Letterman survived it as well. And soon Michael Keaton.